just on the, an MOT note, uh, there's certain checks you can do before you take it in for an MOT. Uh, nice, first easy one, turn all your lights on. If you've got an assistant to, to help you, go through each light on the car. Side lights, your dip beam and your main beam. Make sure everything's working. Uh, same with the indicators, get somebody to check them while you're sat in the car. Check your rear fog light and also check your brake lights as well. Every other item on the car isn't necessary for an MOT. Uh, front fog lights don't need to be there and also your reverse lights don't need to be there for the MOT. Check your doors and seats, make sure they're all working. Quickly check your seat belts yourself and make sure they're not frayed. This one's fraying slightly but it's that's nothing severe that. They all retract as well, so you can do that yourself and make sure they obviously lock in, lock into all the buckles and they all release. Uh, another one, make sure your horn works as well. Another thing to check for when checking a car, um, always check your wheels and tyres. Um, legal limit for a tyre is 1.6 millimetres. Uh, you can buy a tread depth gauge. Uh, if you don't want to buy one though, a good little trick that I use is a 20 pence piece. If you go from corner to corner, I've just put a black marker down there, and stick that in the middle of your tread, and put your nail against it, that there is showing more than 1.6 millimetres. As long as it doesn't sink any further, i.e. there, then the tyres are good. Check for cracking in between the treads. Uh, this tyre is showing a little bit, I don't know if you can see it or not. A little bit of cracks starting to appear. Uh, it is normal for older tyres to do that. It's just rubber, it perishes and dries out. And that's when your cracks form. Word of note though, if they start to get any worse, they can actually open up further and the cords inside can actually start to show, which would be an MOT failure. So always keep an eye on that. If you want to do your, your headlight washers, find where they are. Uh, your wipers, make sure they work. Yeah, they're working fine. Same again. They can be costly to fix. Uh, when you come to brake, make sure you're not getting a vibration through the wheel like that, which would indicate worn brake discs. When checking the dash panel, when you turn your, your engine on or ignition, you should be looking for all the lights illuminating. So your ABS light should be coming on, your engine management light should be coming on, and your SRS, which is your airbag light, that should be coming on also. All those lights should disappear when you start the car. If they don't, it means there's a fault with the system somewhere, at which point you would have to get it booked in at a garage for a diagnostic check. Obviously, depending on what they find, it can be simple wiring repairs to hundreds of pounds to fix the problem. Okay, so just doing some checks under the bonnet. Uh, quick check I always do, uh, check the levels are all right. If you just grab hold of the bottle and wiggle it a little bit, you can see the water through the bottle there. There's plenty of water in it. Check things like the oil, if you can see the brake fluid reservoir anywhere, check your brake fluid. If it's got power steering, check your power steering reservoir. Uh, make sure they're all, all above spec. If you lean down on the front panel of the car, you can give it a quick bounce. If you've got a worn shock absorber, the car would keep on bouncing when you would release that. Uh, this one's okay. You do the bounce and it sets straight away so them shock absorbers are working correctly. When booking your car in for an MOT, uh, it's always advisable that you book it in a month in advance. Uh, reason being, if there's any problems with the car, it means you've got a bit of time to save some money up and rectify the problems before it's out of MOT.